Parents found plan B. I had a full-blown panic attack today and I'm still terrified to confront my parents. I am 21 YO girl and living with my parents still while I attend school. I recently started hooking up with this guy and was not on BC. We had to use plan B a few times I was paranoid and wanted to be safe. And we usually meet up late at night since we are both busy and it is a FWB type situation. Well my sister knew about this all and claimed she'd keep it a secret. No. She told our parents. I feel so humiliated embarrassed gross disgusting and dirty. They called me a whore. It almost feels perverted violating for my parents to know such an intimate part of my life. I am still quite dependent on them and I am scared of what they will do. I appreciate any and all advice. I know for sure I am going to cut my sisters off permanently. But I have to face my parents alone and I feel sick. I was getting really dark thoughts today about this. I know it seems unrealistic but I don't even want to speak with them on it. Even if they ask berate me. I feel so 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 violated. The entire thing feels wrong. No one's father or mother should know this much. It also means I can't see him anymore because when I leave they're going to think I'm just being a whore. What would you do in my situation? Please don't use plan B every time you have sex. It's not intended to be used that way and can be hard on your body. Not to mention your hormones and emotions. Just use regular method of birth control. Make him use a condom do something else please. I don't know why some parents get mad about finding a young adult who had sex. When an aunt told me that she found preservatives edit condoms in my cousin's bedroom. I told her she should be happy that his son was taking care. So. You are human. Humans have sex. Don't worry. Behave as the most normal thing in the world. And have a talk with your sister about how you felt betrayed. Finish up school. Get away from your controlling parents. And become the adult that you want to become. You will be able to do this. It just will take a little time to finish up school. In the meantime. Try to keep your parents at arm's length but politely so. I think you should try and see a counselor or therapist on campus if your parents are making you. Feel this level of sexual shame. You're not a whore and there is nothing wrong with engaging in a consensual sexual relationship. I think most of the good advice has been covered use condoms but I just wanted to send you a hug. And a love to say. No matter what your parents say. You are a strong independent woman who is caring about herself don't you forget it. Welp. Time to stop trusting your sister. You also can absolutely refuse to talk to them about it. Just every time they bring it up. Say something like. I'm not going to keep talking with you if you bully me. And if they continue. Leave whenever possible. Teach them that you will not tolerate disrespect. They are infantilizing you. Nip that shit in the bud now or you will be a middle-aged lady and still be treated like a child. Wow. My 20-year-old daughter caught an STD and was able to talk to me about it. You are not the problem here. You're a normal young woman having sex. Your parents are the problem here. Do not allow yourself to feel shame. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Get through this and focus on finding a way to move out ASAP. Roommates. Etc. There are options. And they may not be the easiest. But for your mental health. Make a plan and get away from these people. And also condoms always. Men lie. A lot. Especially when you're young. Pregnancy could be the least of your worries. And also remember that plan B is only effective up to a certain weight. If you're in college. Most have on campus health clinics with cheaper free birth control and exams if you're in a state. That is in Gilead aka Texas where I live look for a planned parenthood or similar clinic. You are not a whore. You're quite a responsible young woman. If I were you I would tell a trusted adult that your parents are verbally abusing you. You're an adult.
They aren't allowed to verbally abuse you. Trust me. I called the cops on my mill when she was verbally abusing me and I got a protective order. They are the disgusting ones for shaming you. You're a grown adult and you took care of your own health. You did nothing wrong. You're an adult. If you're old enough to die for country, you're old enough to make your own decisions about your sex life. All of this. I can't believe how some parents are. I bought a pack of Plan B. I have three sons, one five, 19, and 22. They know I have them just in case I had my tubes tied 15 years ago so I don't need it. I live in Florida and they will probably make that illegal too. I mean this nicely but your parents can foo off. You had sex and did something responsible. You are not a whore and how dare they make you feel less than for being human. I am sorry your trust was violated. Your sister crossed a line. I do not have a sister and don't know how I would feel about this. I am a mother and if you were my child, I would be proud of the person you are. You are responsible and trying to better yourself. You have obligations to yourself and your education that do not include a pregnancy at this time. 1. Do not ever again trust your sister. 2. Move out of your parents' home if you are threatened or abused over this. 3. Start treating your parents like adults and ask them to treat you like one. You may not like every single thing that they ask of you but you are adult. Respect is a two-way street and it's earned not given. To be clear, if you were my kid, I'd want to have a discussion with you about safe sex and make sure you are on reliable BC. I hope they do the same. You're 21. A woman. Not a girl. Also. One day you might actually become a mother. Assume um, gee you stay in contact with your family they will know you've had unprotected sex. What is the difference between that situation? And this? You and your FWB are two consenting adults. As long as the two of you are safe and happy with your arrangement, There is absolutely nothing wrong with what you're doing. Darling how stressful. You're a grown woman. You owe no one an explanation on who you love or what you do. That being said be respectful and responsible be in charge of you birth control. Plan B is in birth control it's meant as emergency backup. C-O-N-D-O-M-S Please get birth control and use condoms Plan B can make you really sick and isn't meant to be taken every time. I can't imagine taking that regularly because a guy refused to wear a condom and being nauseous and in pain for a day or two. I'm sorry your parents are like this. You're 21. In every country on earth. That means you are an adult. As a middle-aged adult, I find it ridiculous that other middle-aged adults act shocked that your sexuality exists. They should be helping you not playing faux rage for some pretend innocence they don't have. You're not a child. You're a young woman. Who gets to make her own decisions? But for the love of all that's holy. Please stop taking Plan B regularly. Parents you're a whore. Me well. Do you want me to also be a pregnant whore? But I'm an asshole so. If that was my sister she'd be getting clobbered. Snitches get stitches. Can you imagine being so enamored with your religion that you just do not educate your child on? Safe sex. Like at all? So much so that they believe plan B is birth control. This is why I will always stand by the most religion is really just about controlling people and not actual salvation. Stop using Plan B so regularly. It's a Plan B for a reason. It's going to mess with your periods and hormones. Go on birth control or use condoms. What happened to Plan A? Use birth control pill. IUD. Cap to prevent pregnancy and use a condom to prevent STIs. If you're mature enough to have sex. You're mature enough to prevent pregnancy and STI.